So Newport Beach gets a lot of, I don't know, like a lot of notoriety for the beach, right? And again, it is a fantastic beach. Mm -hmm. But something that is a little bit like kind of almost forgotten is the fact that Newport's Harbor is absolutely fantastic. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, I would say that its harbor in relation to its beaches, its harbor is so... Um, like there's a few places in the country that have this level of a harbor. Yeah, so today we're going to show you what you can get out of this harbor if you want to live in Newport Beach. So stay tuned. What's up everybody, I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we're with Keller Williams Realty. Right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in Orange County, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Now we get so many calls from people looking to either buy or sell a home in Orange County and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move to, move from, or move within Orange County, either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can contact us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So now Lido Island, now I grew up in Newport Beach, so I've run around Lido Island I don't know, maybe a thousand times. I mean, yeah, I've come then, around here so many times over the years. Well, and another thing is that people sometimes will ask us, well, how safe is it in Newport Beach? Well, I can tell you that, you know, as a <laughs> young college student, I used to run around oh, Lido Island um, at night, you know, maybe around midnight all the time because we were runners, so I, and I never felt unsafe. So that's just telling you you know, what, what the safety is like in Newport Beach. Yeah, and Lido Island, you just have tons of, you know, harbor front properties with docks and all this other stuff. Now, it's not just harbor front properties. You do have, um, obviously, some properties that are, you know, a couple of houses down, and the price certainly drops down tremendously. I mean, yeah. it's, it's obviously a, a massive jump in price from one or two houses over to right on the harbor, because obviously you get the dock, you've got the ocean, you know, the harbor frontage, and you have these just really beautiful custom homes. And what people like about Newport, I mean, about Lido Island is the fact that it's so varied. I mean, you have like, you have, you know, some smaller houses and then you have these like huge mansions. Yeah. But of course, if you're looking for land, you know, you're not going to find that on Lido Island or any island or any harbor front property for the most part. I mean, there's a few pockets where you have some pretty decent sized like pieces of land. But really, I mean, land is at such a premium here that, you know, again, you're not going to have a yard if that's what you're looking for. Yeah. And then another thing, another reason why people like living on the harbor side as opposed to the beachfront property is if you have a boat. I'm on a boat! Right? Yes. <laughs> You gotta love your boats <laughs> and if you have a boat, I mean, you know, again, what, how convenient is it because we used to have a boat and we would, let's say, we had our boat and we would park it at Newport Dunes and we did it two different ways. We actually had it on a trailer well, it at Newport actually Dunes. His, it was his dad's boat and this he named true. it after our daughter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so like we would either, like, so he actually had it on a dock at Newport, at Newport Dunes, which is great. But you still had to actually get there, right? I mean, these are, obviously this is first world problems, of course. <laughs> but you, we find ourselves not really using the boat. Now, of course, if you actually have a house with its own dock, that kind of changes things a little bit. I mean, literally, you just walk out your backyard and right under the dock and take, you know, take your boat and off you go. I mean, that. I mean, if you're again, if you're a huge Boating yacht enthusiast, yes, if you love that, then this that's the way to go. Mm -hmm, for sure. So as we drive over to Balboa Island, one of the criticisms that Orange County often gets is that there is no nightlife here. And we actually just passed a <laughs> former, Irish <pub. laughs> an Irish pub, Malarkey's, which back when, you know, before we had kids uh, and we actually did enjoy a nightlife, Malarkey's was the place that we would go to. Um, actually, I mean, Newport Beach has... has yeah, Newport there. Beach in it itself, I'm just giving you an example um, of one particular spot. But Newport Beach has a lot of spots for nightlife. Um, so if, you know, you don't believe the hype in terms of Orange County having no nightlife, because, yes, Irvine has no nightlife, but there are, there are spots in Orange County that does have nightlife. So here we are on the harbor side of the peninsula. Yeah, so this is Balboa Peninsula here. Yeah. And this is a fantastic spot because what makes Balboa Peninsula so nice is that, again, you have 
the harbor, which is yeah, right so behind you, us. You, so if you have a boat, I'm on a boat, for example, if you really love the boating life, you can dock it right here. Dock it right here, and then you can walk. We're going to show you how actually close you are to the beach. Now, we're, we're former runners, yeah. so we're having an argument over uh, how, how close it is. How close. I want to say it's about 100 meters. <laughs> like a Usain Bolt 10 second <laughs> dash across. She's thinking more a quarter mile. Uh, there's no way it's a quarter mile. But it's okay. Long story short, it's, it's in close. Between. Yes, somewhere maybe between. it's a two hundred yeah. meter. I don't yeah. know, but well, it's let's, super let's super nice. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna actually illustrate to you how close though this actually is to the beach. So we remember we were on the harbor, right? Yes. Yeah. We're so gonna actually cross Balboa Boulevard to get you to the actual beach itself too. So it was about. Like 200 meters, roughly. Yeah, I, I, I did it on my Run Keeper app, so. So about 0.1 miles, give or take. And, yeah. you know, what's, so literally behind us, so I don't know if you can see it so because. So Usain Bolt's world record? So for, for well, so it's about 19, about 19 ish seconds. Yeah, so if you're the fastest man in the world, you can run this in about 19 seconds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but behind us, I don't know if you can see it because the sun's kind of strong right here, but yeah. the Pacific Ocean is right there. So in 200 meters, you went from the harbor to the beach. Yeah, one of the coolest harbors in the world to one of the coolest beaches in the world. Yes, so, so <laughs> it's really, I mean, an amazing aspect. Now, uh, when it comes to the peninsula, not, not not all of it's created equal in that, okay, we used to actually live at the end of the peninsula by the wedge. And if you're if you're concerned about, you know, like getting to and from yeah. your house, if you're like working somewhere else, um, it is a bit of a trek yeah. because it took us about. I would take. A, I would say it took us about thirty minutes, depending on the traffic. Sometimes point, more <laughs> to get, Just off, to the get off the peninsula. Because yeah. you know, if you're all the way down, I mean, you have all these stop signs and all these crosswalks and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. But um, as you get closer to like where Lido Island is, it's obviously a lot easier to yes, get much, on and off much, the peninsula. Much, yeah. So here we are, and on Balboa Island, and this is yet another island within Newport Harbor. Yeah, and so obviously you can have harbor front if you're on this island. And <laughs> I would say, so how Sean was saying, so if you're on the parts of the peninsula, it's really hard to get to, but I would say Balboa Island is one of, you know, the easier spots to get to in Newport Beach. And I kind of compare, because I'm from San Diego, so I kind of compare Newport and you would say La Jolla in terms of like how exclusive. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. La Jolla is exclusive? so yeah. hard to get to, but it's so nice. Like I would say it's probably the most like exclusive beach community in Orange County. And I would say Newport is probably, Newport and Laguna, the most exclusive beach communities. Um, and so, but one thing that's different about Newport, certain parts of it are actually rather easy to get to. Yeah, so. super accessible actually. So to get to Balboa Island, you just actually take a uh, jamboree, which, you know, will feed you all the way to the 405 freeway, to the 5 freeway. It, so you just take jamboree and actually it becomes a uh, Marine Avenue. And that's like the main stretch on Balboa Island. And so it's super convenient to get to. So you're on, on an island, but it's, really 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 convenient yeah and Balboa Island is a little we have good memories of yeah. Balboa Island because Sean's dad used to live across on the peninsula and so we would all go walking together this is when I was pregnant with my daughter so this was a long time yeah, ago several years ago for sure <laughs> and we like that because they do have a really walk, nice boardwalk here yeah, so. so you can just walk around the whole island it's so pleasant it's just so you know it's so peaceful and, and it's easy to get to so it would be very yeah. convenient to get to you just go across the ferry you yeah just or, or yeah. so if, depending on where you're coming from. So if you come yeah. from Peninsula, you could take the ferry across. Which is what we would do. Which would be very easy. Or yeah. if you're driving from somewhere else in Orange County, you just take Jamboree down and make it, it's, again, just dumps right, it dumps you right into Balboa Island. And also a really cool thing about Balboa Island too is that they have this actually this little retail stretch here. Yeah, it's um, a little bit more touristy, I would for say. For sure. Yeah, yeah, compared to the other islands here, definitely more touristy. Yeah, for sure. Now, as far as like uh, touristy friendliness, as far as that goes uh, along Newport Harbor, you ha certainly have different, certain places that are really tourist friendly, like the peninsula for sure is, as well as Balboa Island. Less so at Lido Island, but then <laughs> the not so touristy spots and the more exclusive islands in, on, in Newport Harbor are like Harbor Island, where you basically have ton, you know, several billionaires living there and Linda Isle, which is also a very exclusive area. So these are homes. And, and Bay Island. Yeah, Bay Island as well. But I would say those Harbor Island and Linda Island, you know, these are some really like mansions that are, <laughs> these are yeah, amazing these are just, homes. You know, they'll, they'll get it when they, whenever they're sold, it'll be a story in the newspaper. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I mean, obviously eight figures is yeah. bare. I mean, you're talking about, you know, <laughs> like, you know, 30 million, like, you know, like it's bare minimum. It's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's it. That's our video on all of the wonderful places that you can live around Newport Harbor. So if you're like really, that one property really caught your eye, you got to either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or maybe there's a particular island that you think, hey, I want to go to that island. So you got to reach out to us so that you can go see that property. There that are a want. lot of islands here. <laughs> that's true. And don't forget, you can always reach out to us via WhatsApp.